हेलो यस गुड इवनिंग जेन वी अहमदाबाद एंड आल्सो गुड इवनिंग टू नितिन कुमार ओके सो वी हैव फाइव मोर मिनट्स लेट्स वेट फॉर टू मोर मिनट्स एंड देन वी विल स्टार्ट ओके right uh i have one small query here the students who have uh, joined are they joining from the single id or from the entire id so one id is applicable for the entire class because i have seen here jnv ahmedabad so one operating instrument with so many students in a class right uh jain vi ahmedabad this has been done in the last class but if the time spares i'll tell you in the last 5 minutes okay so whenever we have time after the class there i'll explain you once again about the u genesis okay so you need not to worry about it clear yes good evening everyone good evening okay so we have two more minutes yeah hello yes right we will start the class then good evening so before starting the class let me take a small check if i'm perfectly audible to you or not okay it's a small technical check you have to tell me by the answering in poll if i'm perfectly audible to you and the video is clear to you or not okay i'm audible great i'm audible to everyone okay thank you chikbalapur thank you so much then i'll end the poll yeah great so hello students for those who don't know me my name is gazala firdos and i am the biology mentor in avanti fellows okay so i hope you are um, with me and you will get along in the process of teaching and learning okay great give me a thumbs up raise hands if you have any doubt please be interactive in the chat box if you are not interactive in the chat box then i will not understand if you have clearly gone through or understood the concept okay so please be active in the chat box if you have any doubts make sure you raise your hand or write anything in the chat box clear so we'll move ahead then right it's perfectly 459 only 1 minute to go yes thank you thank you chikbalapur thank you so much okay students then we'll move ahead so as you know we have we were doing the chapter human reproduction in the last class or in the last week in sunday's class shipra madam has taught you the human reproduction in a very brief manner okay whereas some points were left out hai na kuch points bach gaye the which are those so implantation was done no you write in the chat box which parts have to be done in this class okay so according to my knowledge we have done the female reproductive system male reproductive system spermatogenesis oogenesis fertilization menstrual cycle which is a very important concept so all of these have been dealt in the last class so in today's class what we are going to do yes write in the chat box great in today's class we are going to learn about the implantation process or the embryonic development ओके सो इम्प्लांटेशन होने के बाद कैसे एक एम्ब्रियो डेवलप होता है अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट वी विल स्टडी द पार्चुरेशन एंड लैक्टेशन एंड देन वी विल सॉल्व सम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस वी वर आस्क्ड इन द प्रीवियस ईयर ओके सो प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चंस विल बी देयर यू हैव टू बी वेरी अटेंटिव थ्रू आउट द क्लास एंड वी विल मूव अहेड देन ग्रेट यस ओके सो गिव मी अ सेकंड गाइस just give me a minute
Okay. Clear. We are good to go. We are good to go. Yes. Right. So here I'm going to ask you one of the question which was dealt in the last class. Okay. So which is that question? Let me read it out for you. What is the correct sequence of sperm formation? You here are the options. Please go through the options. I will give you exactly 30 seconds. There is no timer here, but please be attentive and answer the question. Okay. So I will launch the poll now. Oh my God. I have already got the answers. So beautiful. So beautiful. Okay. So there's no need to launch the poll might be because all of the students have answered in the chat. Great. Great. My students. So we'll move ahead. Why C is the correct answer. Okay. So if you see here in the diagram, I hope this is perfectly clear to everyone. Right. Okay. So you can see in the options here, you have to find the sequence of sperm formation. Okay. So sperm formation is going to occur from spermatogonia, which will undergo the mitosis division to give the primary spermatocyte. And from there, you will see the meiotic divisions. So up to primary spermatocyte, there will be 46 chromosomes. Clear? Okay. Then after the meiotic division, you will find the haploid number of chromosomes. So here in the sequence, you can find spermatogonia. Where is spermatogonia? In the three options, cancel out the second and then comes the spermatocyte. So which has spermatocyte? Two has spermatocyte. Okay. Then you have to see which one is correct, spermatid. So cancel this out and then comes the spermatozoa. Okay. So I don't know why students have answered C as their answer, but according to me, A is the answer. Okay, so the current sequence of formation of sperms. Say students, kya na? let me tell you, you have chosen C, but there is a confusion for you. Spermatid is going to happen first and then spermatozoa. Clear? So this and then this. Is this clear? Which is the answer then? Which is the correct answer? A is the correct answer or the one is the correct answer. Clear? Clear to everyone? Okay, then we'll move ahead. Okay, Ahmadabad. Okay, so we're going to study about the cleavage or the implantation. See, when we're going to study about it, you have to learn it with the proper story manner. Okay, so how are you going to remember it? First, you have to understand from where all this process is happening. Okay, there is a you know, copulation process. Copulation is called as sexual intercourse where the so many sperms are released into the female vagina. Okay, from vagina, the sperms will travel to the uterus. From uterus, they will move to the fallopian tube. In fallopian tube, there is a beautiful woman waiting for the sperm and there in the ampullary region, there is a union or fusion of sperm and woman. Okay, so after that fusion, we will get the zygote and that process is called as fertilization. So after fertilization, you have the zygote. Okay. So now this zygote will undergo many divisions. Okay. So many divisions to give the embryo or the fetus. Okay. So that fetus will be released out after the nine month period of gestation. So this, this sto story is very short. But if you keep on studying it, there will be many factors which you have to keep in mind. Okay, so now we have seen in the last class, there is a formation of zygote. Okay, so this zygote will undergo many mitotic divisions, which are called as cleavage. Okay, so this will give many blastomeres. Okay, if you see here, these are the blastomeres. Okay, so these blastomeres will be a union. Okay, will be a union. And if you see the number of blastomeres up to 18 to 16, that stage is called as modula. Okay, a zygote, it has undergone many cleavage divisions. When it is up to the 16 cell, okay, then we call it as modula. So this modula will then interchange its cell and become the blastocyst. Okay, here you can see the cells of modula continue to divide and transform into blastocyst. First from zygote to modula, modula to blastocyst. Okay, so this blastocyst stage is shown here in the picture. Clear? We'll move ahead. Now, so if you are wondering, ma'am, what exactly is a blastocyst? Okay, so blastocyst contains of 
many parts okay so here you can see in the diagram what i have explained you clearly okay so here ovulation is happening and then after ovulation there is a fertilization process so this fertilized egg is called as zygote on the first day there will be the first cleavage that is nothing but mitotic division okay and then you will see the many divisions to give the blastomeres and here you can see that 8 to 16 the cell stage is called as modula okay so that is modula now modula will rearrange itself to become the blastula so this blastula contains okay blastula contains blastocele okay it will have the blastocele other than that it will also have two layers okay beta so blastocyst is arranged into two layers outer one is called as trophoblast and the inner is called as inner cell mass okay so you will see this in the upcoming uh, diagrams okay so if this is a blastocyst there will be the layer okay so that layer is called as trophoblast and there will be the inner mass cell okay there will be the inner mass cell and apart from that there will be a fluid okay a very abundant amount of fluid and that fluid will be called as blastocele okay so trophoblast inner mass cell and then blastocele there are three parts which are in the blastocyst so some students get confused ma'am what is the difference between blastocyst and jab tak a blastocyst ke andar blastocele hai okay the cavity or the you can say that fluid is there then we can call it as blastocyst as soon as the you know blastocele will be ruptured or it is oozed out all the fluid is oozed out and then the entire body is called as gastrula so gastrula hum jab bulate hain jab aur zyada embryonic growth hoti jati hai i'll tell you in the upcoming slides okay so here you can see we have three structures great okay so now till here you have seen one thing what is that in every part you have been seeing the zona pellucida right so zona pellucida is intact so ovum mein zona pellucida hota hai so that zona pellucida is intact all over the place all over the place right so but here what happens as the blastocyst moves there will be the hatching okay hatching ka simple matlab इंटरनल पार्ट टू ग्रो इन साइज ठीक है आपको ये पूछ सकता है बेटा नीट में सो व्हाट हैपेंस इन ऑल दिस क्लीवेज डिविजन्स देयर विल बी द इंक्रीज ऑफ नंबर ऑफ क्रोमोसोम्स और द डीएनए बट द कंटेंट विल नॉट बी सो मच इंक्रीज्ड ओके और द साइज विल नॉट बी सो मच इंक्रीज्ड दैट इज बिकॉज देयर इज अ जोना पैलेसिडा व्हिच इज प्रेशरिंग इनसाइड और पुशिंग इनसाइड ठीक है सो ब्लास्टोसिस्ट will be coming out of the zona pellucida that is called as hatching and jaise blastocyst bahar aayega it will attach itself to the internal lining of uterus clear clear up to here everything is clear till here okay you can see here zona pellucida is broken on the fifth day and then implantation will occur on the seventh day okay so here we will see what is implantation okay implantation dekho beta it is very simple never complicate the you know uh, concepts keep it simple so implantation is attachment of the embryo to the internal lining of the uterus okay so this is implantation now seventh day mein implantation hoga correct hai okay so eighth day se kya hoga beta the trophoblast layer the outer layer okay so which will develop two more layers two more layers okay so here you can see have shown it very properly in the photos so there is a zygote there is a blastula see blastocyst blastula and blastocyst are both same okay so blastocyst is called particularly in the humans blastula can be called in all the animals okay so in humans we particular call it as blastocyst clear my children please give a thumbs up in the chat or say yes so that i'll come to know you have you are listening okay yeah so this trophoblast thank you thank you ahmedabad okay so trophoblast will be divided into two more layers okay so one is syncytial trophoblast and the second one is cytotrophoblast 
okay i know this is heavy for you there is uh, no not information given in the need but still it is very important because um it will be asked in the need what i'm trying to say is it is not given in the ncrt book okay but phir bhi humko padhna hai kuch zyada hi padhna hai theek hai so that is sure then i have told you in the blastula there is an another part that is inner mast cell so this inner mast cell will also divide into two layers that is hypoblast and epiblast confusion hone ki zarurat nahi hai blastula will have blastocele trophoblast and inner mast cell trophoblast will divide into syncytial trophoblast and cytotrophoblast inner cell mass will divide into hypoblast and epiblast okay so this epiblast is the particular one which will give the further embryo embryo giving me bahut bada contribution okay so i hope this is clear to everyone i'll move ahead clear so as soon as the implantation occurs you can see here i have provided the gif here so that okay blastocyst after hatching it will go inside the endometrium endometrium ke andar jayega what happens is the uterine walls will be surrounded like this and eventually it will take inside the blastocyst okay so after it has entered inside the blastocyst there is a chorionic villi there will be the finger like projections around the blastocyst which will eventually okay along with the uterine tissues you need not to get confused beta uterine tissues ka matlab hai the tissues which are present in the uterus as simple as that okay so uterine tissues and these chorionic villi will fuse together to form a placenta i have shown you here in the picture these are the chorionic villi okay so these are the chorionic villi do you uh, you know do you see them as the finger like projections they look like finger like projections yes they do right so ye chorionic villi and this uterine muscles or the uterine membrane or you can say the cells or tissues they together form this placenta okay now you remember placenta but i'll tell you the functions of placenta in the upcoming slides okay clear okay so now i was telling you there is the presence of zona pallidida when the zygote or the cleavage divisions have been occurring and as it was moving from fallopian tube to the uterus okay so it was moving the zygote cleavage divisions occurring it was moving to uterus but zona pallidida was intact this was because to protect okay or to say the prevent of ectopic pregnancy what is ectopic pregnancy dekho beta normal pregnancy is what implantation will occur in the endometrium of the inner lining but in the ectopic pregnancy usually the implantation will occur literally anywhere in the fallopian tube or you can say in the cervix sometimes or in the isthmus region of the fallopian tube so this has to be prevented so that is why the hatching of blastocyst that is removal of zona pallidida will happen only when the blastocyst has reached the uterus clear okay now i was telling you about the placenta so this placenta will release a very important hormone that is hcg okay so hcg kaun release karta hai so hcg is given by placenta so why it is given hcg is called as very important hormone it is human chorionic gonadotropin okay so its the function what is the function of it this simply gives the maintenance of corpus luteum by releasing the progesterone you know progesterone is a hormone released by the ovary right so ovary release karta hai progesterone and progesterone matlab kahan pe particularly release hota hai in the corpus luteum okay so corpus luteum will be maintained by the hcg to give the progesterone clear we are good to go give a thumbs up clear right yes thank you thank you ahmedabad okay so hcg maintains the endometrium of the uterus cause it has to grow throughout the pregnancy okay i was telling you the function of this hcg is one to keep the progesterone so if you ask me ma'am why we need progesterone the progesterone is needed to maintain the lining of uterus okay uterus lining bahut elastic hoti hai which has to be strong and it has to be maintained endometrium thick layer has to be maintained throughout the pregnancy that is 9 months of gestation that is why we need the 
HCG. Okay, clear? Let's move ahead then. Now, so in the last slide, I told you about the process or the happenings that were occurring outside the blastocyst. Okay, so we don't call it as a blastocyst now. We call it as gastrula. Okay, I will write here. Now we don't call it as a blastocyst. We call it as gastrula. Okay, so jab implantation ho jata hai, after implantation, we call it as gastrula. Okay, so the process of formation of the layers, this ectoderm, endoderm, and mesoderm, this process is called as gastrulation. Okay, Vita? So now what happens, you can see after implantation, blastocyst will be turned into a gastrula. So in gastrula, you can see the ectoderm, endoderm, and mesoderm formation. Okay, so these layers are very important layers because from these you are going to get the entire fetus or the entire embryo. Okay, up uh, upcoming studies, may you will study in the higher classes. Ectoderm will give something like respiratory system and digestive system, mesoderm will give bones and muscles. Okay, and then endoderm will give something else. So, like this, they will, this will be a very important. Part, okay, so all of these dermal cells are potent cells. Potent cells ka matlab kya hota hai, beta? They have the ability to grow and keep on dividing to make a fetus. Okay, clear that is. So from these layers, you will give rise to the all organs, tissues, and overall a small baby. Clear? Okay. So if everything is clear up to here, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the chat box. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the chat box or else give me a thumbs up so that I'll come to know you have understood. Okay. Clear? Is Ahmedabad is the only one who is understanding the concepts? No. Chikbalapur is also clear. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. So now we will see the embryonic development. So till now, what we saw, we saw from zygote, formation of morula, blastocyst, and then gastrula. So in gastrula, you will see the gastrulation, formation of three layers, okay, very important embryonic layers, ectoderm, endoderm, and mesoderm. So these three derms or the, these three layers will give the entire body. So what will happen here in this diagram, you will see these are the months. Okay, so these are the months and this is the development. Okay, here you can see the development of baby. Okay, or the fetus. We don't call it as baby. We call it as fetus. Okay, good Kolapur. Right. So, we study the process of embryonic development in nine months. Okay, but no mehne ka pura process hai. Okay, so no mehne mein, what we are going to do, we are going to divide these nine months into three trimesters. How many trimesters? Three trimesters. One, two, one to three. Okay, then four will come here. Four to seven. Okay, four to seven is the second trimester. And six, I sorry. Here I have to write the seven and eight. Okay, I'll, I'll erase it. I'll erase it. Okay, so there will be three trimesters. Clearly, I have shown you here, right? So here you can see the development of fetus in the first trimester. This is first trimester, this is second trimester, and this is third. So what is going to happen in the first trimester? To be precise in the first month, you will see the formation of heart and the heartbeat will be there. Okay, if you go to doctor for a checkup, okay, so who is supposed to be a, a pregnant lady and you have taken her to a doctor and there you can see the doctor is plugging the you know, what is that? What do you call that which we hear? You know, which we listen through the ear. Tell me in the chat box. Stethoscope. Nobody is answering. Stethoscope, is that correct? Okay, so all the students know that this general topic. Clear then? Very good. Very good. Okay. So, when you have a zukam or a khansi, the first thing doctor does is, Achha, what happened to you? They'll keep that, okay, that listening part in the ear and here on the chest to see how you're wheezing. Right. So, similarly, you can take the listen, the heartbeat of a child when he is in the first month. Okay. Then limbs and digits. Limbs and digit means these fingers, hands, skin, and then legs. Okay. Then major organs, like you can say kidney, 
lungs, heart, and everything will be formed in the first trimester. See, in the first trimester, the entire baby has been formed, but it is very small. It is very underdeveloped. It has to develop in the second trimester. Okay, in the second trimester, the very minute things will be ready. Okay, so minute things will get ready and the baby starts to move inside or circulate inside the, okay, womb. Clear? So, movement dikhayega. You might have been hearing from your, uh, you know, uh, friends and the people who, who are being a pregnant. The baby kicks sometime or it plays or it circulates. Okay, so that is the movement which you will see. In the third trimester, you will see the details like body hair, eyelash and the children usually open their eyelids. Okay, they'll open and close their eyelids. So this is how the entire nine months of gestation will be seen. And this process is called as embryonic development. If you read the NCRT, you will come to know all of these parts. Okay, I did not write each and every line here, but you have to go and read the NCRT. Clear? Okay, so here I have bought you a very beautiful, okay, picture where you can see the stages of fetal development. Okay, you can see from day one, from the day one up to the 23 days. Okay, so this is how it happens here. So not 23 days, 60 days. Sir. Okay, 60 days tak ka sara process yaha pe dikhaya gaya hai. Isn't it beautiful? It is beautiful. Okay. Right. I had told you, right? Yeah, yeah. I had told you in the previous slides about the placenta. Okay, I had only mentioned, but let us study more detailed Okay, knowledge of placenta. Okay, what exactly is placenta? So I have told you after implantation, there will be the finger-like projections called chorionic villi. Those chorionic villi with the help of uterine tissues, it will form a placenta. Chorionic villi, uterine tissues together, it will form the placenta. You can see in the picture better. You can see here very easily you can see. Okay, so this is um umbilical cord. Okay, umbilical cord is the one which connects the placenta and the mother. Okay, it, it is a big, okay, a very long pipe kind of a thing. Okay, the umbilical cord, okay, which passes all the uh, exchange of gases, the food, nutrition through the blood, arteries and veins. Clear? So, there is the finger-like projections. We call them as chorionic villi. Okay, so these are the mother's arteries and this is baby. Okay, from here there will be baby. You can see here, this is baby and this is mother's arteries. Okay, so here you have to understand one thing. HCG is released by placenta. Clear? Human chorionic gonadotropin is released by placenta. If somebody asks you where exactly in placenta, you have to say syncytial trophoblast. Okay, since I should trophoblast is one of the layer of trophoblast, right? Blastocyst ke andar tha trophoblast. Trophoblast ke andar since I should trophoblast. So this is the layer which specifically produces the HCG hormone inside the placenta. Okay, so not just that, not just that, placenta also produces several hormones. Okay, so HCG is there, HPL is there. Okay, human placental lactogen and estrogen and progesterone also. Clear? So, these are the hormones which are given by placenta. Clear? You might be wondering, when estrogen and progesterone also released from ovary? Yes, they does. Okay, ovary say he estrogen and progesterone release hote hain beta. But that happens when there is no pregnancy. When there is no pregnancy in the woman, estrogen and progesterone are very much needed to maintain the menstrual cycle in a woman. Right. But here the lady is pregnant. There is a presence of placenta. We need more estrogen and progesterone. Hence, placenta is also secreting them. Clear? We got it? Yes? Okay. Great. Great, everyone. Thank you for responding. Okay. So, this placenta, very good. Very good, Ahmedabad. Okay. So, now we are going to see the functions of placenta. Okay, see, placenta is a very important part. Okay, without placenta, you cannot understand how there will be the development of embryo in the womb. Okay, so womb ke development ke liye placenta bahut zaruri hai beta. So what are its functions then? Its major function is to give the nutrient. Okay, so mother has the nutrient and that nutrient has to be absorbed by the baby. So kaise absorb hoga? 
mother will be there inside there will be a fetus so fetus will connect with the umbilical cord that pipe like structure to the mother and in that pipe you will see all the arteries and veins from which there will be the nutrition uptake okay so along with nutritional uptake there will be the exchange of gases okay when there are cells there will be metabolism when there is metabolism there is uptake of oxygen and release of carbon dioxide so in the cells of womb or in the fetus there will be the exchange of gases which are done through the placenta other than that all the maternal adaptations okay in the pregnancy there will be different body changes so those adaptations are done by placenta then hormone secretion and production i told you right hcg hpl all those hormones then waste removal okay so waste removal will be done by the placenta and then temperature regulation and immune function all these are the functions of placenta this might ask you in the need please take it down okay now so this is very important part i have told you there are hormones of placenta right so what these hormones are particularly doing what is their function i mean to say hcg is going to maintain the corpus luteum corpus luteum will secrete the progesterone so that progesterone will help in maintaining the uterus okay the thick walls of uterus clear then human placental lactogen so human placental lactogen is the hormone which stimulates the mammary glands to you know uh, produce the milk okay in the mammary glands there will be the production of milk when the lady is pregnant right so that will be done by hpl okay then estrogen and progesterone isko to aapne matlab samajh liya hai bahut acche se you are clear with this right you have studied this in the menstrual cycle how lh fsh estrogen and progesterone work together to maintain the perfect balance of menstrual cycle right so here you your concentration should be on hpl hcg and relaxin okay great so relaxin is what this is one of the hormone secreted by ovary okay secreted by ovary at the time of delivery you can say okay baby will be delivered out right that process is called as parturition when the baby is delivering out at that time relaxin hormone is released to relax the cervix cervix jab relax hoga to baby bahar aayega theek hai that is the function of relaxin now we'll move ahead what actually is parturition okay i have told you the delivery the word delivery okay is nothing but parturition okay so here what happens after the total 9 months of gestation the baby will come out and that process is called as parturition now you have understood parturition you will ask me and parturition is right you have told that but how it is happening what is the exact process of parturition i know you have that doubt so please listen to me carefully now this entire process of parturition is induced by complex it's a very complex neuroendocrine mechanism aapko lag raha hoga ma'am kuch to apne difficult bol diya kuch difficult nahi hai there is nothing difficult here just keep your mind and ears here you will understand okay so here what happen there is a process called as fetal ejection reflex okay fetal means fetus ejection means coming out fetus coming out reflex means what reflex means something that is happening back okay happening back so i'll give you one example okay i'll give you one example you are simply sitting on a bench i'll go you and i'll put your hand here on the shoulder so you will just suddenly turn back okay so when you turn back that is a reflex right for my action you are giving me a reflex okay the reaction so that reaction is called as the reflex okay now what happen please listen to me very carefully baby has developed fetus completely develop ho gaya hai when the fetus is completely developed it happens okay what happens it will push down the birth canal okay so birth canal ko wo push karega so when this pushing will happen there is a stretching of cervix for those who don't know cervix okay so i hope you know what is cervix okay so this part is called as cervix okay this is vagina okay this is vagina okay and this part is cervix and this is uterus okay this is uterus and here there will be the fallopian tube 
clear up so this part is called as cervix when the fully developed baby pushes down to the cervix in cervix there will be receptors receptors will be there those receptors will send a signal to the brain to be precisely to the hypothalamus okay cervix will give the nerve impulses or the signals to the hypothalamus hypothalamus will release a hormone called as oxytocin okay so it will release a hormone called as oxytocin this oxytocin will be secreted by posterior pituitary gland theek hai beta hypothalamus banata hai oxytocin released will be okay so release will happen from the pituitary okay so posterior pituitary so here there is a release of oxytocin what this oxytocin will do this oxytocin will contract the uterine muscles uterine muscles ekdam all the uterine muscles will be contracted okay so when there is so much contraction happening then what happen ovary will not be quite ovary will say oh my god there is so much contraction i will release a hormone called as relaxin this relaxin hormone will relax the cervix okay so this will relax the cervix so why because from cervix the baby has to come out so there is a contraction on the uterus okay there is continuous contraction and there is relaxation on the cervix even till the baby is pushed up clear this is how parturition is happening and this entire process is called as fetal ejection reflex clear to everyone i hope it is clear give me a thumbs up if it is clear okay great 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 awesome 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 okay right so we have understood embryonic development and parturition now we have to understand what is lactation okay so lactation here during the entire process of gestation gestation is nothing but 9 months of process okay kolapur thank you so much for the response appreciate it okay so this 9 months of process is called as gestation beta aapko ye words yaad rakhna padta hai theek hai this gestation okay the process of gestation that is the entire development of 9 months great chikbalapur okay now so this entire process what will happen the baby will grow there will be so many hormonal changes in the body the female will feel like sometimes she will be absolutely happy sometimes sometimes she will be absolutely sad all those mood swings so all these process there is another change that is going to occur in the female body that is the growth of mammary glands mammary glands will grow and they will start producing the milk okay so this milk is needed to feed the baby when the baby is delivered out ठीक है जैसे ही बच्चा बाहर आएगा इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द मदर टू फीड द बेबी ओके सो बच्चे को जब फीड किया जाता है दैट प्रोसेस और दिस एंटायर प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड एज लैक्टेशन ओके सो नाउ यू हैव टू टेल मी इन द चैट बॉक्स ओके फॉर हाउ मेनी इयर्स डॉक्टर सजेस्ट टू ब्रेस्ट फीड द मदर ओके बच्चे को ब्रेस्ट फीड कब तक करना चाहिए कितने साल तक और अप टू हाउ मेनी मंथ्स राइट इट इन द चैट बॉक्स लेट मी गेस who will do it one year six months six months okay six months okay okay yes yes jnvi panchmahal so many people are saying six months and some ya yeah, chibalapur has said one month yeah so this six months is the minimum minimum duration where the baby has to be breastfed apart from that many people like you know hamare jo buzurg hain or you can say our elders they suggest to feed up to 2 years up to 2 years it can be fed okay the breast feed can be done but at least minimum you have to do for the 6 months because this colostrum or you can say this breast milk will contain so many antibodies essential vitamins minerals many more things essential fats bahut kuch hota hai beta so that's why baby needs colostrum or the milk okay so now i will tell you how actually this lactation happen okay this process how it is going to occur ओके आई नो यू विल आस्क मी दिस सो आप पूछने से पहले मैं ही बता देती हूँ ओके सो दिस प्रोसेस इज डन बाई 
a name called as a suckling reflex. Reflex, I told you, a reaction. Okay, a reverse reaction. So suckling reflex means what? You can see this in the diagram. So here there is a mother newly, uh, you know, delivered. Baby ko deliver ki hui mother hai. And this mother is feeding the child. So baby is sucking the nipple. So there will be receptors present on the nipple. And these receptors present on the nipple will give the signal to hypothalamus. Baby will suck the nipple. Nipple will send the nerve impulse or the receptors to the hypothalamus. Hypothalamus will secrete the hormone called oxytocin. Oxytocin will be released to posterior pituitary gland. And from posterior pituitary gland, there is the release of oxytocin. With the help of oxytocin, there is the ejection of milk, which will come out of nipple and that is fed to baby. Okay, so this is called a suckling reflex. Baby will suckle the nipple and it will be passed. The nerve impulse will pass to hypothalamus. Hypothalamus will secrete the oxytocin. That oxytocin is released by the, okay, uh, uh, oxytocin will help in the ejection of milk, which is fed to a baby. Okay, this is one process. But here you can see there is an another hormone called as prolactin releasing hormone. Okay, so prolactin releasing hormone will help in the release of prolactin. Okay, so hypothalamus will secrete and then that PRH will release from the posterior, sorry, anterior pituitary. This is anterior. Okay, ye anterior hai beta, ye posterior hai. Okay, so from anterior pituitary gland, there will be the release of prolactin. This prolactin hormone is very, very, very much essential for the milk production. If milk is not feed hoga beta? There will be a presence of milk and that milk is produced by the prolactin. Clear? So this process is called as suckling reflex. Clear? Okay, now. So in the process of all these things, you have to study one more point that is colostrum. What are the importance of colostrum? So colostrum is the milk that is uh, secreted by the okay, pregnant mother. Or you can say, the newly, uh, you know, uh, formed mother. Okay, so this is three days milk. This is five days milk. This is six days and this is 25. That is one month. Okay, so it is dark yellow and then it is transferring into a pale white color. That is pure white color milk color. Okay, so you can see how the milk also changes and the amount of production also changes. Okay. Now, so this is recommended, huh? My all beautiful students have told me at least six months, but some elders will tell you to do it up to two years. See, the problem here is you can do it for two years. Okay, koi baat nahi hai. But it is a drawback for the mother because all the nutritions are draining out of the mother body. So mother has to very much attend to and be positive so that she has to take all the good nutrients. Because mother health is also very important. If mother is healthy, then she can feed the nutritious milk to baby. Okay, so mother has to keep in mind to take the proper nutritive food or the balanced diet. Okay, now, I know this is not there in your syllabus, but my previous year students, they always ask me about these things. So that's why I have kept this in the slide. So how there is a development of twins? You have to see twins means what beta? Don't look, two people, okay? So in twins, you will see two types of twins. One is monozygotic twin and dizygotic twin. In the word, you will understand mono means one, zygotic means zygote. Okay, so these twins are formed from a single zygote. You can see there is a ovum here, there is a sperm. Fusion of sperm and ovum, fertilization, it will give the zygote. So after the formation of zygote, zygote will split. Zygote will split to give the genetically identical twins. Okay, and you can see here they share 100% of the same DNA. 100% same DNA. Okay, kai bar hota hai, beta. you might have seen this in the movies. Okay. There will be one person who has committed the crime. Other twin has done nothing. Okay. But kya kare? Ab kisko saza de? All the fingerprints are same. Blood report is same. Uh, all the, you can say, the fingerprinting, DNA, everything reports are same. Pata hi nahi chalta ki kisne crime kiya hai. Okay. So in India, there were many crimes like this. So hamari government kya bolti hai? Our court says, okay, chahe beguna chhoot jaye, lekin 
सॉरी चाहे गुनेगा छोड़ जाए लेकिन बेगुना को सजा नहीं मिलनी चाहिए ओके वॉट दैट मीन्स इज चाहे ओके द पर्सन हु हैज कमिटेड सिन और यू कैन से क्राइम विल बी रिलीज बट द वन हु हैज नॉट डन विल नॉट बी फॉल्सली अक्यूज okay so like this many times they have been released you can go and search in the google beta you can do it okay many things have happened this in america in europe in india bahut sare criminals aise bach gaye hain okay so one is monozygotic twin and there is another one called as dizygotic twin is the fingerprint same yes chik bada po even the fingerprints are same same beta identical कुछ भी आपको डिफरेंट नहीं मिलेगा आप चाहे बाल का डीएनए काटो आप चाहे यू नो द माउथ स्वाद इफ यू टेक एवरीवेयर द डीएनए सीन ओके दैट इज अ वेरी बिग प्रॉब्लम ओके या सो जाइगोटिक ट्विन मींस टू डाई मींस टू अगेन जाइगोट एंड ट्विन्स हियर व्हाट हैपन वी नो देयर विल बी मिलियन नंबर ऑफ स्पर्म्स स्पर्म्स आर मिलियन बट देयर विल बी ओनली वन क्वीन दैट इज वोवम है ना यूजुअली ऐसे होता है यूजुअली हैपेंस लाइक दिस मेनी स्पर्म्स एंड वन क्वीन वोवम बट समटाइम्स व्हाट हैपेंड ड्यू टू सम चेंजेस अ फीमेल बॉडी विल रिलीज द टू जाइगोट सॉरी यू कैन से टू वोवम ओके देयर विल बी टू वोवम सो व्हेन देयर आर टू वोवम स्पर्म्स आर मिलियन सो दीस बोथ वोवम विल गेट फर्टिलाइज्ड टू गिव द टू सेपरेट फीटस ओके यू कैन से दे आर नॉट जेनेटिकली आइडेंटिकल दे आर डिस्टिंक्ट the distinct but you can say half of the dna is same how you can say half because same parent same father same mother so half the dna is same for both the kids but they are not completely identical this is dizygotic twins or also called as fraternal twins okay identical monozygotic fraternal dizygotic twins clear now if you have understood everything up to here give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up if you have understood all the points that i have explained today done great ahmedabad great okay so now what we are going to do there are 15 minutes left we are going to study the previous year questions great chikpana we are going to solve the previous year questions i have taken questions from neet and other resources okay Okay, so here comes your first question. I want everyone to be attentive and answer as quickly as possible in the chat box because if I keep on launching the poll, it will take more time. I'm going to questions zada karne hai. Okay, so what you can do? Answer in the chat box so that I can skip the poll. Okay, I'll eventually launch it, but it is more enthusiastic for you to answer in the chat box. Okay, so this question was asked in twenty twenty two. There is a question on the screen. arrange the following male sex accessory ducts in the correct sequence for the transport of sperms from testes okay i'll give you 30 seconds read the question properly and then answer eventually i will launch the poll here okay i have launched the poll make sure you answer in the poll take some time read the question and then answer okay one person has answered in the poll what about others mm hmm okay oh my god so many diverse answers okay great so your 30 seconds are done i'll end the poll then okay so all of you have participated okay two people have not participated beta please do your participation okay done i'll end the poll okay so i can say most of the people have chosen option d okay so let's see what is the answer great in this diagram you can see the route of sperms from the testis to the exterior part okay so here you can see this is a structure of testis hai na okay so here in the testis there will be seminiferous tubules okay so seminiferous tubules will have the spermatogonia we have studied about that so from seminiferous tubules there will be the rete testis you can see this is rete testis okay this is rete testis after rete testis there is this part okay this this and this this is called vasa efferentia vas the efferentia or efferent ductule okay so from rete testis there will be efferent ductule okay 
then from this okay from this you will see okay yahan bhi hote hain aur yahan bhi hote hain okay so like here so from seminiferous tubules there will be rete testis and then efferent ductule and then comes the epididymis you can see this entire part is epididymis there will be many regions in epididymis beta okay caput cauda there are many other regions okay so from epididymis it will go to the vas deferens you can see here this is vas deferens here you can see okay so here seminiferous tubules rete testis efferentia epididymis vas deferens from a vas deferens it will go to the eject you know ejaculatory duct and then urethra this is the sequence now let us see which is the correct one okay so you have to start from the seminiferous tubule do you have the seminiferous tubule here first d rete testis okay after rete testis efferentia dc then these two are cancelled dc efferentia ke baad aayega epididymis a this is cancelled epididymis ke baad vas are different okay you can see here the first one is rete testis okay efferentia vasa efferentia the third one is epididymis epididymis then comes after epididymis vas deferens this is four and at last there will be ejaculatory duct okay so how you have to see first one will be d c a e then b okay so correct answer is 2 correct answer is 2 but unfortunately many of you have chosen option d why my students have understood this in the last class in the last class we have learned this you have not read ncert kya you have to read ncert beta please be punctual on reading the ncert okay is this clear now is this clear look at the diagram please note it down the sequence because these type of questions will be very frequently asked okay so this question is from 2009 please look over the question given below is the diagrammatic sketch of a portion of human male reproductive system and you have to label them okay this is human male reproductive system you have to label them i will give you 30 seconds look over it and then answer don't hurry my students aap log hurry karke wrong option choose kar rahe ho okay take your time and then study meanwhile i will launch the poll so that we can answer in the poll and i will appreciate the students those who are answering in the chat box it's very nice of you that you are so much active in the class i'm seeing very less responses from the youtube please youtube uh, students you also do the i know attend the poll or you can say attend the questions and then answer in the chat box okay great so i have given enough time i'll end the poll so most of you have chosen option c let me see how much that poll question is correct okay so again there is a male reproductive system here to yahan pe kya hoga beta i have given all the options or all the labels okay so a is what a is vas deferens what is b b is semini seminal vessel sorry vesicle seminal vesicle c is prostate gland d is bulbo urethral gland or also called as corpus gland okay so let us see the sequence now a me kaun aa raha hai vas deferens then these two are out of the league then b seminal vesicle great then c prostrate answer is 3 c is the answer okay so i hope many of you have done correctly okay great let's move ahead then oh my god what has happened here the picture has come at first which was supposed to be i have done some mistake in animation no problem you be frank you be frank with it don't look at the labelings and then answer don't look at the labelings while doing animations there has been a mistake don't worry about it 
just answer it answer the question i'll launch the poll okay or we'll do one thing we'll skip this question beta i don't want you to cheat here we'll skip that question i don't want to do it okay <laughs> need 2020 question is here which of the following hormone levels will cause the release of ovum okay so ovum from the graafian follicle please read out the options take your time and then answer i'll launch the poll now i'll launch the poll for this question see all these questions are from previous year neat papers okay you have to be very 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 accurate while at choosing the answer see when you are answering the neat paper you have to be very choosy okay correct answer ko hi choose karna hai beta if you feel somewhere no this might not be answer then don't tick it at all because there will be negative marking and you know uh, negative marking se bachna bhi ek bahut bada art hai okay great so i have seen okay great right i'll end the poll your time is done let's see okay many of you have chosen option 2 as answer okay option b ko bahut logon ne choose kiya hai okay you can see the diagram here okay in the menstrual cycle there will be three stages pre ovulation ovulation and post ovulation in the ovulation release of egg will happen or in other words secondary oocyte okay this is secondary oocyte released from the ovary process is called as ovulation you can see the hormones level here okay hormones level here so as you can see lh and fsh are on the high levels during ovulation okay so ovulation hoga hi jab jab surge of lh hota hai when there is surge of lh ovulation will occur you have to keep that in mind so low concentration of fsh no fsh is high here high concentration of estrogen yes there is high concentration of estrogen so let us see the other options also high concentration of progesterone no progesterone is very less here low concentration of lh no high concentration of lh so answer is 2 high concentration of estrogen and everybody is correct here who has chosen 2 great my students okay so this is from the 2014 mean function of mammalian corpus luteum is to produce your 30 seconds are here take your time read the question and then answer in the poll i'm going to launch the poll great great ahmedabad you are very active in the chat box and i really appreciate it all others also chikbalapur yeah kolapur yes panchmahal everybody is active very good okay so your time is done everybody has chosen very quickly and i'm very happy about it most of you have chosen not most of you every one of you have chosen option b let us see which is the correct one oh my god where it is yeah the main function of mammalian corpus luteum is to produce progesterone yay we studied it today and you rocked it ओके सब लोग आपने सही चूज किया है आई एम सो हैप्पी दैट मींस व्हाट आई हैव टॉट टुडे यू हैव अंडरस्टूड क्लियर एंड दिस इज लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर टुडे क्लास प्लीज रीड इट सिलेक्ट द करेक्ट ऑप्शन ऑफ हैप्लॉइड सेल्स फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग ग्रुप रीड द ऑप्शंस एंड देन आंसर इन द चैट दिस इज लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर टूडे great i have launched the poll make sure you answer in the poll yes very good very nice very very nice okay very good very good chikbalapur yes okay i'll end the poll and we'll see what is the correct answer okay see here you have to understand something spermatogonia 46 okay diploid it is diploid 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 haploid 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 polar bodies are also haploid okay primary oocyte means diploid okay diploid secondary oocyte haploid spermatid haploid not a correct option secondary spermatocyte haploid polar body haploid ovum haploid two is correct spermatogonia diploid haploid 
haploid, diploid, haploid, haploid. See, you have to see which one is diploid and haploid. And here the correct answer is two. Okay, so secondary spermatocyte, first polar body, even the first and second, both the polar bodies are haploid and the goem is haploid. Okay, so thank you so much for attending the class. I really appreciate how you have been attentive in the class. If you have any doubts, please reach out to your teachers who are present in the centers. Or if you still have any doubts, you can chat in the... Okay. So, uh, yeah, Ahmadabad, please give me a second. So, for all the students, thank you for attending. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, we will be studying the reproductive health. Okay, reproductive health. Your homework is to read the NCRT. Okay, NCRT ko pakka pad ke aana hai, bita. Thikke? Great. Please remember your homework and read and come. Okay, bye everyone. Bye others. Okay. So, Ahmedabad, is it okay if you stay here for two more minutes? Will you stay here for two more minutes? Okay. Okay, great. But it is very difficult to explain like this. So what I'll do is I'll take the diagram. Okay, I'll take the diagram. I'll just stop sharing. I'll just stop sharing for a minute. To explain you the U genesis, okay, give me some time. Give me some time. And those who have understood everything, you can leave. I'm going to explain the U genesis for Ahmedabad. Okay, it will take some time. Your time is done. Other, others can leave. I, if you want, you can stay. Okay. Just a minute. Just a minute. Okay. I'm just looking for a diagram beta to explain you. Just give me a minute. Because without diagram, it will be hard to explain because it is a very big process. Okay, I'll copy this image here. Okay, I'll come back here. Okay, are you able to see the screen? Are you able to see the screen? Please answer. Oh my God, where it is? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Okay, yeah. So, uh, I hope everyone is here. What's happening? Thank you. Thank you for all your uh, presence. Now I'll explain this. Now I'll explain this. Great. Yeah.
So students, here oogenesis, the process of oogenesis is going to be occur in the females. Okay. So when you are understanding the oogenesis, you have to see two things. One is follicle development and the oogenesis. Oogenesis means development of egg. Follicle development means development of follicle. Okay, beta. The core, when you see inside of ovary, inside of ovary, there will be the primary oocyte, there will be secondary oocyte, tertiary, and then there will be a graphian follicle, mature graphian follicle. Then there is a corpus luteum and corpus albicum. This happens in the ovary. Okay, so in ovary, you can see all the follicle development. Okay, you'll see all the follicle development. But the process of oogenesis has started before the birth of a child. Okay. Bacha paida hone se pehle hi process of oogenesis start ho jata hai bita. So what happens here? There is a presence of oogonium cells. Okay. So those oogonium cells will undergo mitosis. Okay. Mitosis karne ke baad they will form primary oocyte. Okay. So where is this primary oocyte? Inside the follicles. The follicles ke under hai beta ye sara. Okay. The oogonium or you can see all these things are inside the follicles. Okay. Clear? That is clear. The follicle ke under ye sub development hote hai. Okay. So inside what happened? Primary oocyte banne ke baad. Oogonium will undergo mitotic division. So after that, this primary oocyte will be arrested. Okay. Will be arrested in the prophase stage or you can say in the mitotic stage okay sorry not mitotic meiotic stage meiotic the first stage prophase one okay so this will happen before the birth now the baby has taken birth and that baby has passed the childhood in childhood there will be no differences bahut sare thousands oogonium hote hain beta those thousand oogoniums jab bachcha pet mein hota hai maa ke tab bahut zyada hote hain as it goes and goes they start okay decrease decreasing okay they start decreasing we call that as atrification process. Atrification matlab, these oogonium will go on decreasing because follicles will be disappearing or degenerating. Jitne kam follicles hai, utne kam oocytes banenge. Thikhe? So, abhi, now the girl has reached the menopause stage. In the, uh, sorry, not menopause, it is puberty stage. Okay, menarch, menarch stage. So, from menarch to menopause, the entire oogenesis process will be taking care. So, puberty attain karne ke baad, the girl is in the primary oocyte stage and this primary oocyte is deployed. This deployed stage will be meiotically distributed or divided to give the first polar body and the secondary oocyte. So, this is happening inside the Okay, follicle. But follicle kaise grow ho raha hai? Follicle ke andar ye part ho raha hai beta. This is first part. This is second part. Inside follicle, oogenesis is happening. But how follicle is growing? You can see there is a primordial follicle. Primordial means something very primitive. Okay, then again primordial follicle. So the follicle development will happen after the puberty stage. Puberty stage say follicles develop hote hain. Okay, so primary follicle. So when there is a meiotic division occurring, in that time you can see this primary follicle is growing into the secondary follicle. And when we say mature follicle, so secondary say tertiary hoga, then there is a graphian follicle. Graphian follicle is a mature follicle. Inside the mature graphian follicle, you will see the secondary oocyte. Secondary oocyte is nothing but the ovum. Okay, so this is ovum. So this secondary oocyte will be released out of the ovary. That process is called as ovulation. Now, this egg has two fates. One, it will meet the sperm to fertilize and then become a zygote to eventually form a baby. Okay, one is that process. Another process is when the ovum will not meet the egg. When, sorry, when the woman will not meet the sperm, when there is no fertilization, at that time what happens, we have to see. Here you can see the secondary oocyte that is formed, okay, that is formed here will also be arrested. Ye bhi arrest hoga beta in the metaphase 2, okay, metaphase 2. So, yahaan pe sara jo ho raha hai na, meiosis, meiosis bura ruk ruk ke ho raha hai, okay, meiosis 2 mein, 
हॉल्ट होगा सो so, जब फर्टिलाइजेशन नहीं होगा देन वॉट हैपन सेकेंडरी ऊसाइट इज स्टिल इन द मेटाफिस टू बट इवेंचुअली इट विल पास आउट इन द मेन्स्ट्रुएशन एंड वेन इट विल कंप्लीटली फिल द म्योसिस कभी कंप्लीटली फिल करेगा जब फर्टिलाइजेशन होगा ओके वाई बिकॉज इट नीड्स सेंट्रियोल फ्रॉम द स्पर्म स्पर्म से सेंट्रियोल की जरूरत है बेटा टू कंप्लीट द प्रोसेस ऑफ मियोसिस ओके व्हेन द स्पर्म मेड द एग ओनली देन द मेटाफिस टू स्टेज विल बी फर्दर टेकन टू कंप्लीट द मियोसिस एंड देन देयर विल बी द प्रोसेस ऑफ फर्टिलाइजेशन एंड दिस प्रोसेस इज कंप्लीटली ऊजेनेसिस ओके सो ओगोनियम माइटोसिस प्राइमरी ऊसाइट दिस विल हॉल्ट बिफोर बर्थ देन फ्रॉम प्यूबर्टी दिस प्राइमरी ऊसाइट विल डिवाइड टू give the first polar body and second oocyte this is first meiosis and in the second meiosis okay so in the second meiosis the secondary oocyte will be halted in the metaphase 2 it will only complete when the sperm is available for the secondary oocyte otherwise it will be gone through the menstrual cycles is it clear clear ahmed ahmedabad now i have taken more time i know because oogenesis is a bit complicated process i understand it beta i have taken 5 minutes but i hope it is clear to you clear if you have any doubts you can ask me in the chat box these both go simultaneously please remember follicles will be grown oogenesis will be happening simultaneously oogenesis is happening inside follicles follicle development is happening inside the ovary okay clear okay beta thank you so much okay bye bye i'll end the meeting